you've ever considered singing a love song to the pizza girl, a guy who comes and delivers you pizza, go ahead and hit that, that subscribe button. But on a real note, you should probably eat good food. Um, you need to get those nutrients. It's important. You're, uh, you're a growing boy or girl. That's pretty unlikely because my demographic is almost all dudes. So um, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit. So, all right, guys. A lot of people have been asking me about iPro and kind of what iPro I've used or what I recommend and that type of thing. So there's two different types of categories of iPro that we're going to talk about today. So those two categories are going to be goggles and glasses. But I lied, we're just going to talk about glasses today because goggles kind of have a it's kind of a different kind of mindset behind why you might wear those or for whatever reason. But most guys are going to be wearing some type of safety glasses of one or another. A couple things to look for first off, make sure that they're rated at the appropriate ballistic rating to ensure that they're going to protect your eyes um, for whatever you do. So for my military law enforcement guys, they need to be at a certain standard. And I'm not, I don't have that standard off the top of my head, so I'm just going to go ahead and put it right there. There you go, there you go. make sure it's those standards right there. I also put that in the description as well. So with that being said, let's talk about some of the different um, styles of glasses that I've used that have worked pretty well for me. So there's a lot of different styles out there. Um, one of the more common ones that you see a lot in the military, um, I'm not so much sure about law enforcement, are the revision soft lies. So uh, I don't use them that much. I got them when I first came in. Um, but they're kind of similar to the Smith, the Smith Aegis Echoes in the fact that they have the brow and then the glasses attached to the very top of it. The problem I've seen with those and with the Smith... Um, Aegis Echoes is that that brow, what tends to happen is it tends to uh, rest up against your forehead while you're wearing them. And so if you sweat, that sweat's going to channel inside or outside the glasses and you're going to get sweat in there. It kind of becomes a pain in the butt. So it's for that reason that I'm not a huge fan of having that brow right there. And another problem that a lot of these glasses present is that the frames can be too thick. Now, if you're wearing pelters or some type of over the ear hearing protection, um, if you do any type of comp stuff, that's probably what you're going to be wearing. Then it can become a problem because that can kind of break the seal off of your ears and then you don't have very good hearing protection. So when it comes to getting iPro that are going to go under hearing protection like pelters or swords or liberators or whatever, I like to get really thin frames. Now, the thinnest frames that I've ever dealt with are the ones from Smith's and it's their Echo series. Now in this case, this is a discontinued model. This is the Aegis Echo and it's a thin metal frame and that sits really close against your head and therefore it doesn't break the hearing seal. Now again, the problem with these was that they have a little brow. So what I mostly use nowadays is the Pivlock Echoes. And what they've done is they are angled slightly outwards so that the top uh, does not contact your forehead so that you don't get that sweat dripping on the inside. So I like them quite a bit. Um, as far as how stylish they look, about as stylish as uh, the birth control glasses you get when you're going through basic training. But nonetheless, they do work really well. Now, with most of these glasses, they're coming with some type of different lenses for a variety of situations. In the case of the Pivlocks, they come with a sick little case that has your amber tinted as well as your more sunglass type glasses. So depending on the situation, you might want one or the other. And that goes for the same for the AG Psychos and a lot of different ones. Another different brand that has really thin frames as well are the Oakley M frames. Now, I'm going to be honest and say that I don't have as much experience with those particular set of glasses, but I've heard good things. But for me, Oakleys look incredibly retarded on me, so I almost never wear them. And that's going to be honest right there. Now, some people choose to wear straight up sunglasses as eye protection. So it's going to be important that you make sure that they're rated correctly and that they are, again, thin enough to fit under it. Ear Pro. Now, the only glasses that I've used that have been thin enough to fit under Ear Pro are the Gators. Now, even still, because they're pretty thick as far as like the frame thickness and stuff like that, just like the height, you still do get some amount of problems when you're wearing pelters. So these aren't always my go-to, but it is definitely an option out there because they can, again, be worn stylishly outside of the military. To kind of sum everything up, find some type of glasses if you're going to be wearing over-the-ear hearing protection that are thin. Therefore, it doesn't break the seal off of your ears. Uh, if you're not wearing over-the-ear hearing protection, wear whatever the hell you want, as long as it's of good optical quality. Make sure that it's ballistically rated according to those standards I put up earlier. And again, 
make sure you look somewhat cool, not too nerdy. So guys, I hope this was a good kind of primer for you guys on different types of tactical eyewear. Uh, go ahead and hit down in the comments, say what tactical eyewear you like. I'm, there's a million different types out there, but I wasn't able to hit them all because I haven't used them all because I found what works for me and I pretty much stuck with it. So that being said, um, stay tuned. We have more good stuff coming up in the future. And no matter what, look cool, guys. Nothing else matters.